A family is coping with the loss of their loved ones after a fire claims the life of a mother and her daughter. It all happened this morning near Aaron, and News Channel 5's John Quill Newland was on the scene, and she has more from there. Family members and friends have gathered outside this home all day to grieve after a mother and her young daughter lost their lives in this tragic house fire. All family and friends could do was watch as fire crews worked to contain the fire that killed two people, a mother and her young daughter. My understanding at this point is that they went back in to get some stuff and of course unfortunately did not come back out. The fire started around 8.30 this morning. Officials believe it began in the living room where a wood burning stove was kept. Four people were inside the home at the time. Two managed to climb out a nearby window to safety. They didn't come out the windows and they got injured, not severely, but one was pregnant and they took it to the hospital and also the gentleman as well, possible smoke inhalation, I think he said complaining of rib pain. Family members tell us the woman who died was Jennifer Strickland. She was the girlfriend of the man who lived here. Her daughter, Caitlin, was 12 years old. Her cries could be heard next door as the fire enveloped the house. Once a person exits the structure that has smoke and such, it is time to stay out of the house. The smoke nowadays is very toxic, and it doesn't take just a few breaths, and you'll be unconscious. Multiple crews from surrounding counties assisted the Houston County Fire Department. The sheriff called in the state fire marshal's office to investigate. The family is being helped by the Red Cross. Right now, they're asking for prayers during this hard time. And Aaron, I'm John Quill Newland, News Channel 5 HD. While the exact cause of that fire remains under investigation, the fire chief encourages everyone to be safe when using those wood-burning stoves.